Riding in a traditional calabash is a nice way to get around. So when visiting the temple at Edfu, there's no better way to get there than in a traditional calabash. You would never find your way there walking through the busy market streets. So the calabash is a safe way to experience the hustle and bustle and get there safely. The temple at Edfu is dedicated to Horus, the falcon-headed god. He was the god of the sky and he had one eye that was the sun and the other eye was the moon. He was the son of Isis and Osiris. Edfu is where his greatest battle victory took place, where he avenged the death of his father at the hands of his uncle Seth. The birthing house is where Horus's wife Hathor used to stay when she visited him. The temple is probably the best preserved of all the temples in Egypt and the main temple itself is almost completely intact. The entrance of the temple is a typical two pylon entrance which stand 39 meters high. The main engravings on the walls of the pylon are mirror images of each other. Passing through the main entrance, you come into the courtyard of offerings. It is here the pharaohs of the day would make offerings to Horus. The guides in Egypt deserve a special mention for their phenomenal knowledge. Seth, who is under the water line, as you see there. And the reigning king is also here, and he's helping the good god Horus to finish off his enemy. In 391, Theodosius I banned all non-Christian worship. With the temples no longer being used as a place of worship, they became a refuge for Christian communities. The tops of the pillars and the ceilings, as you can see, are covered in smoke stain. This is from the fires that the Christians built to keep themselves warm and to do their cooking. At the far end of the temple is the sanctuary. Here there is a replica of the pharaoh's barge that would take him into the next life. The outer walls are covered in scenes from that of the pharaohs and the life of Horus. At the entrance of the temple itself is a statue of Horus as the falcon god. The temple was built over a period of 180 years, between 237 BC and 57 BC. It was started by Ptolemy III, added to by Ptolemy IV, and finished by Ptolemy VIII. Because the temple has survived so well and is in such good condition, visiting Edfu truly is like stepping back in time.